we also thank God for another great At this time, we're calling for an inspirational message by Minister Alishon Cooper. It's Jurisdictional Purity Lady and Sister Sonia Warren, Jurisdictional Supervisor Evangelist Vanessa Gatlin, Jurisdictional Bishop Bishop Roy L. H. Winbush. Say amen for him as he comes. Come on and tell the Lord thank you. Come on if you really mean it, tell the Lord thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. I thank you for this opportunity. God, I thank you for this time. Lord God, I ask that you would speak through me even now. Let your anointing fall afresh, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your aim, hey, my God, let your anointing fall fresh, God. Let it sweep throughout this room, God. Let your glory be revealed. In the name of Jesus, I pray and I thank you, God. Amen. In the book of Isaiah, the 40th chapter, the 30th and 31st verse, it reads, Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young man shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Just grab your neighbor by the hand and tell your neighbor, say, Neighbor, the wait only makes you stronger. Oh, come on, if you believe it, look at somebody and tell them the weight only makes you stronger. If we would truly be honest, we have arrived at a point in life when we don't like waiting, especially when it comes down to waiting on God. We feel if he's going to do a thing, he should do it right now. For this cause, many people have even considered on giving up on God. But may I suggest to you the words that were written by the composer who said, Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. Ephesians, the third chapter, the 20th verse, lets us know now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. We as young people, middle-aged people, older people, we must know just because it has been delayed does not mean it's been denied. May I submit unto you that we simply need to wait on the Lord. Habakkuk 2 and 3 says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. I am understand that you've been waiting on a blessing and it seems it just won't come God is sick pain everywhere oh and it seems nobody cares but what you got to remember that the devil he is a liar and a deceiver too I dare to high five somebody and tell them God is not through God is not through blessing you God is not through blessing you. May I tell you, it's just an illusion. It's not what it looks like. The devil wants you to think that God has forgotten about you. But I've come all the way to get to Colorado to tell somebody God has not forgotten you. Hang on in there. Don't give up. Don't get in. God is coming through. Oh, you must understand, it is impossible for God to lie. Numbers 23, 19 says, God is not a man that he should lie. He's the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do? Hath he spoken, and shall not make it good? That's why I don't mind waiting on the Lord, because God got to do everything that he says we need to make it up in our minds and we're going to wait on the lord even if we got to wait alone you need to wait on him and we got to wait with an aching heart i dare you to wait on her you might have to wait while you're wiping tears from your eyes but keep on waiting wait on him wait on him wait on him don't stop waiting you might have to wait in the midst of being lied on, but keep on waiting. You might have to wait in the midst of being talked about, but keep on waiting. For if I wait on him, for if I wait on him, he going to renew my strength. I, 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 
go mount up with wings as eagles. I shall run and not be weary. I'm going to walk and not faint as I close. I must share with you my testimony. June 10th, 2008, in the midst of a three-night shut-in in my church, I made it up in my mind that I wanted God to fill me with the Holy Ghost. I said, God, I'm not going nowhere. I won't stop. I won't quit till you fill my soul. When you wait for a thing, you can really appreciate it when God brings it to you. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that God filled me with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Can I tell you, baby, the wait, the wait, the wait, the wait, it will only make you stronger. Yes, it will. The way to make you stronger. Just wait on a little more. You'll have your strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. So I'm going to wait on them. I'm going to wait till my breakthrough comes. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah.